Welcome to another video on professional charts and dashboard series. In the previous video, we had created a simple Wafel chart showing the percentage completion of the building project. We had created a hundred small squares inside one big square and considered each small square as one percent of the entire hundred percent. Now, using the same analogy, I would like to present a various number of seats each party in India may win in current 2024 elections. Now, before we start, here is a quick disclaimer that numbers I am considering are random numbers and just considered for educational purpose only. There is no base to these numbers and I do not promote any particular party. With that disclaimer, let us now understand how we will create this Wafel chart and how to read it. There is total 543 seats where election is being held in India. Hence, I created a big Wafel with 543 small squares inside it. You can consider one small square representing each seat in the elections. Our task is based on the predicted numbers for each party which will win. We need to highlight each one of those boxes in different colors as currently shown on the screen. Thus, we will be able to make a Wafel chart with multiple categories. Now, instead of this Wafel chart, you could easily create a pie chart or do not chart which are already inbuilt in Excel. However, we need to create this Wafel chart as an alternative to those charts. In this video, we will now see how we can create this alternative Wafel chart with multiple categories. So, let us now move to Excel file and see how we can create this. So, here on screen, you can see that I have taken a dummy numbers for each party, the number of seats which it will win. Now we need to select 543 cells and get that Wafel chart created. So instead of selecting all the 543 cells, I will first simply select this start typing sequence. I want 23 rows and 24 columns. Starting number will be 1, increment will be 1. So here you can see that the last number is 552. So whichever the cells contains after 543 will be highlighting that in a different color. So don't worry about that. Now let us quickly select all of this. Let us change the width to 2. And now we'll simply go to our conditional formatting and we will need to highlight that. But before that highlighting, I will need to calculate the cumulative total over here. And I will be simply writing this simple formula to get the cumulative total. Now why it is required? Because starting from 1 to 324, those will be for BJP. After 324 till 380, it will be for NDA. Then after 380 till 444, it will be for INC and so on. With the different colors, we need to quickly highlight that. So let us simply select this. Go to conditional formatting under home tab. Let us simply select new rules. And now here, cells that contain less than or equal to this particular cell. Now this will be formatting with a different color. It will be an orange color. So let us select that. And now here you can see that it has already highlighted all the cells below 324 in orange color. Now similar way, we'll simply go and click manage rules this time. Click new rule. It will be like this one and it will be between 324 plus 1 because starting from 325, that's what we want. And this will be 380. And it will be in little different orange color because ND is part of the BJP only. So selected that. Now let us select new again. Now this will be between 380 plus one starting number from 381 and ending at 444. And this will be in a little different color, which will be a blue. Let us select that. And now if I click apply, here you can see that our Wafel chart is getting ready. Now let me add one more rule. This time it will be 444 plus 1 and less than or equal to 503. This will be a formatted one and little blue color. And let us click OK. And finally a new one. It will be between 503 plus 1 and less than or equal to 543. This will be in little different color. So we will select green and let us click OK. And let us quickly add one more rule. Sales that is greater than 543 that has to be highlighted in white color. And let us click OK, OK. 
now if i click apply and let us click ok now here you can see our wafer chart is quickly ready now we need to remove this number so let us select all of this we'll go to custom and three semicolons and let us click ok so here you can see that this wafer chart is almost ready since we didn't apply the borders so i will just simply select all of this and let us quickly apply the borders maybe with white colors and here you can see our wafer chart is now quickly ready now i just need to highlight which one pertains to which particular one that's what i will have to do it so before that i will just quickly create a labels over here this will be labels bjp and double inverted commas dash and this will be 324 similar way i will do it for all of this now we need to use this as a label over here now i will go to see insert shapes arrow and this will be a simple arrow we will just press the control key and drag it down create one more copy of this simply do it for this one as well so five total arrows i will just simply select now select all of this let us quickly go to shape format let us align it right change the weight of this one every one of this and dash it will be this one will simply select it now we need to change the colors very quickly for this one shape one it will be like this one for this we'll just try to align with the same colors which we have used it for the wafer chart now this one it will be this and finally we have done it over here now let us quickly insert the text box over here now we'll just select this and now we'll just select formula bar equal to and this will be for bjp press enter now let us change the size of this it will be this one the color will not this color only the font color we want now let it different one and bold shape fill no fill will be there and no borders will be there I don't want any borders now let us create a copy of this let us align it over here and this time it will be f5 so instead of f4 it will be f5 we'll select this the same formatting i want to apply it over here the change color will be for text we'll have to change the color so that it resembles exactly like this so let us create a copy of this as well now this time it will be six it will be inc select this one rechange it change the colors we'll just quickly change it create one more copy of this this will be seven select this paint brush icon we have applied now change the color for this one let us quickly create a copy of this now this will be f8 select this one format it change the color to green color so now here you can see that our chart is almost ready now we will just quickly insert few rows at the top now we will just merge all of this these many cells we will simply say let us increase the font size keep it in bold and now we will just quickly draw a simple box for this one and so that it looks proper that's it shape fill it will be a no fill and it can be a little different color so here you can see that our wafer chart with multiple category is ready so that's it like guys from my side see you guys in next video